I, uh, as a hobby, grow peaches in, in uh, northern Alberta, or central Alberta as we are. I, I grow them for fun. And uh, I grow peaches because this is an interesting thing about them is peaches, which are uh, ap apricots are related, and nectarines, which are just peaches without fuzz. In other words, a nectarine and a peach are the same thing, essentially, different flavors, different varieties. But they will produce fruit in the second or third year after growing them. And the interesting thing is the seed is an exact clone of its parent. Now, this doesn't happen in plums or pears or apples. There are all kinds of mixes. You plant 10,000 apple seeds, maybe one apple is good. But you plant 10 peach seeds or 10 nectarine seeds, and every one of those is, well, 90% of them anyway, is going to be exactly like the parent. And the unusual thing about peaches is that in the second, third, or fourth year, they'll fruit. And people think, oh, it's going to take a long time. Now, if you grow an apple, even, even a crab apple takes five or six years before it fruits. Peaches are very rapid fruit producers. And again, I'll emphasize, they are easy to grow. They grow true from seed. And if you live in a cold climate like me, you can grow them in pots. I built a greenhouse. I didn't buy a, an expensive $50,000 CUV. I have a $25,000 greenhouse. That's in Canadian funds. And uh, I enjoy it. And if I want spring in the greenhouse, I turn the temperature up in uh, March. And I work on my hobby and the peaches actually flower in March. And I get crops of peaches and apricots here. They've finished now and I've picked some up from the store just to show you. Well, what I've got here is a selection of peaches actually. Nectarines, if you want to call them, they're nectarines really. There's a yellow one, there's one lots of red, there's the white fleshed ones. And you know, all you're after in here is the seed, if you want to grow them. That is the pit, or, 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 uh, or um, sometimes it's called a stone. And I've seen where people go and bash them up. They take a hammer and they, they bash them up and extract the seed. There's no need to do that. Does nature want you to do that? Not really. What you do is this. You take those seeds out, and these are seeds from different uh, peaches and nectarines. Small peaches, uh, bigger nectarines. They're all the same. What do I do? Take a pot. Soil. And say, okay. Do I have to do anything special? No. Just take these seeds. I, I maybe get better results perhaps if you keep them dry for a week and plant them in a month's time. But no, just take these seeds and put them in this pot. Just stuff them in, push them in down like that and say, these are the peaches that you liked. And of course you take a pen and you label them peaches. And you put the date, September 2nd. And I'll put even the number. There were six in there. And you put the label in. Now, you can water this if you want to. But this, this part must go through a cooling period. It's called a chilling period, vernalization. It has to go through a winter. So if you live in a warmer climate, you can put this pot outside, or you should actually bury it in the soil, up to the top of the pot. I can bury it in the soil outside here, or I can water this and leave it in the greenhouse, because during the winter, the temperature in this greenhouse will fall down to freezing, or close to freezing. And peaches can take 5, 10, 15, even 20 degrees of frost, but it can't take the 30 below that we have outside here. So peaches can take a lot of cold, but it can't take the full cold. I leave them in there, and when they germinate in the spring, I will transfer them to pots. This was one I had last year. Look at the size of this. This is a one-year seedling. Actually, it's a nectarine and a one-year seedling. 
It's grown three foot, perhaps, if you measure it. It's one meter. And this was one I put two years ago. I put them outside because they harden outside and the wood ripens. You have to be diligent in watering them. You can't forget to water them. But uh, I have this outside. This is a two-year-old. You see the side branches on it and the size of it and the stem. Now this may produce a few flowers next year. If it does, since they're self-pollinating, you just touch them with a little brush. Touch the little pink flower with a brush. In fact, sometimes the flowers are quite big. They will set a, a, a peach. This is a bigger three gallon pot and this is a three-year-old but this little one here produced six peaches this year six peaches about this size right here you see the the nods there it produced six full-size peaches on this one branch consequently the growth was minimal because all the energy you would produce this year went into production of peaches and not into growth like in the other plant that's to show that you can you can grow your own peaches from seed it's simple